Hey, hello YouTube. Mind how you guys doing today? It is me again, your favorite Texas trucker. And I'm kicked back at a at a Love's here um, in uh, oh, New York, northern Pennsylvania, uh, southern New York. I really don't know if we've crossed the border or not. You know, I, I'm not driving, so I wasn't paying attention. Um, I should have been paying attention. That ain't no excuse anyway. Um, I was involved in something else, and, and uh, you know, we stopped here, and I never bothered to look if we was in New York yet or not. But if not, we're pretty darn close to it, so um, i actually pretty sure we're still on the Pennsylvania side. Anyway, uh, um, we're sitting here at Love's. I'm waiting on my uh, student driver over there to get out of out of the shower. We stopped to take a shower today, and, and um, you know, we're going to head on up. It's Easter weekend, so I just want to take a a uh, chance to uh, or opportunity to to say happy easter to all you guys and hope the family back home is is doing good so anyway um uh things are changing you know and and i haven't done a video in quite some time i've had several people uh, ask why i haven't done any videos you know and honestly the answer to that is i've just been really really busy you know um training the student dealing with Indiana, um, trying to get him tested out. You know, he's failed, uh, twice. The first time he failed was his fault. The second time he failed, he honestly got screwed over. So, um, you know, we're going to sh shoot it again here in, on the 13th. Oh, sorry about that. We're going to shoot it again here on the 13th, see if we can get him tested out. And then, um, it won't be too much longer and I'll be making a move, uh, away from Millis. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give a quick update. You know, um, if I got enough data, I'm going to get this loaded up. Um, I do want to say right off the bat that there's nothing wrong with my, my relationship with Mellis Transfer. I mean, it's an awesome company. They've been great to me. Um, they've been a huge help in my journey. Um, but I'm becoming an owner-operator, and uh, it's time for me to uh, to make that move here really soon. So. Um, I'm on my way out the door. Um, I'm going to train this guy here and stick around for a few more weeks after that, probably. And then, uh, you know, after that, it's, uh, you know, I've got a truck waiting on me. It's not a company truck. It's my truck. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, it's an older truck. It's not a, you know, really pretty truck, you know, um, it's going to take a little bit of work to get it where I want it to be, but you know, it's a good truck and it, the engine's solid, transmission solid, drivetrain is solid, and it does not have any of that uh, DPF crap, the carb compliant stuff, you know what? I'm not planning on going to California anyway, so I don't really care. Anyway, um, look, you know, for the, a lot of you guys that are, that have used my videos to, you know, as an inspiration to get in to the trucking industry, I want to take just a moment and I want to say to you that, you know, you need to follow your dream. All right. And don't let anything. And I mean, don't let anything keep you from it. Um, get focused in your life and understand that it's hard. You know, it's hard. It's frustrating sometimes. Um, it's not an easy path. It's not the path that um, a lot of people would choose to take, um, but it's rewarding, and you can do it. All you have to do is is um, have the drive and the willpower and the desire, and everything else will come. All right. It doesn't matter whether you uh, run for Millis or whether you run for Snyder or whether you run for Prime or whether you run for Swift, it doesn't matter if you're a owner operator, a lease purchase operator, a lease operator, or a company driver. It doesn't matter if you run long haul, if you run short haul, if you're a regional driver or a day cabber, you know? We're all out here and we're all doing the same job. We all had to fight to get into this job. We all had to struggle to get into this job. And we all made mistakes in the first year or so that we were in this job. And some of us, you know, years down the road are still making mistakes. We learn from them. You know, we educate ourselves. We get better every day. Every day we, we are a little bit better than we were, uh, you know, the, the, the last day. And uh, unfortunately, um, there's, 
it's hard for newer drivers to find a place where they can get answers to questions that weren't really covered in their training either because they didn't have a formal training or because their formal training really kind of lacked and so for you guys i want to invite you to come to um, a facebook page and the facebook page is called ask a veteran driver all right a a v d ask a veteran driver it's easy to find you know there's another page, a similar page to it, called Ask a Veteran. It's a um, spinoff page. I don't know nothing about it. Go to Ask a Veteran Driver. And on that page, you will find a place that's a safe haven for you to be able to ask questions so that you can learn the things that you don't know in this industry. The things, you know, that, that a lot of us take for granted because we do it every day. Things that that um, you know we think are are simple and so when you ask those questions the older drivers will uh, run you into the ground run you into the dirt treat you like crap and you're not gonna find that there it's not allowed it and it's not gonna be um, it's not gonna be tolerated and it doesn't matter what brand you drive for it doesn't matter whether you drive for central refrigerated or night refrigerated or or um, celadon you know it doesn't matter whether you drive for Swift or or um, Schneider or Prime or Millis or you know any of the other hundreds of truck drivers out there we're all in class 8 trucks all right we're all doing this job together we've lost a lot in the years as far as the culture goes we've lost a lot as far as um, the lifestyle goes and we need to try to recover that we need to try to get it back and that's part of what AAVD does, you know, ask, uh, ask a Veteran Driver. It's part of what it does is it helps to promote those values so that we can recover them. One thing I want to leave you with, and the final thing I guess I want to leave you with here um, before this video gets too terribly long, is just a little bit of encouragement, okay? Um, and, a, and a reminder, the encouragement is that getting into this industry is not easy. All right, it takes a lot, a lot of work. There are easy paths to get into it. Don't take them. Because in this industry, the easy paths are not the best paths. All right, you could get into this industry, you know, by, by cutting corners. Don't cut the corners, okay? Take the, take the, um, the sacrifices that you have to sacrifice and learn correctly the things that you need to learn and if there's something lacking in your training because you know everything is not perfect you know if there's something lacking in your training then find a place like ask a veteran driver where you can get those answers where you can get that stuff straightened out and you can be the best driver that um, that you want to be out here on the road we can recover our culture all right it just, it's going to take time but we can recover it but we have to get away from some of this new way of thinking about things. So let's, um, you know, just celebrate the fact that I've reached one of my major goals. One of my major goals was to buy my own truck. All right, I've reached that goal. Um, my next goal is to is to get my own authority. Right now, I'm going to be leasing on to another company. Um, but my next goal is to get my own authority, and then once I have my own authority to uh, start adding trucks to my fleet. That's where my videos are going to be going from here on. So I, I want to go ahead and end this out. I've almost reached 10 minutes, so I want to go ahead and end this out. I want to thank you all for watching because each one of you guys that have supported me has helped made my dream come true. It's time for me to help to support you in any way that I can. All right, I, I'm here to offer help. I'm here to offer advice. Um, you know, I'm here to talk to you when you're out on the road at night you know, provided I'm up. All right, y'all take care. The student's coming. All right, it's time for us to hit the road again. Peace out.